Today's show is sponsored by the ABV Barrel Shop. The ABV Barrel Shop is located in the St. Louis metro community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on one thing, single barrels. Best of all, you can try before you buy. Head over to abvbarrelshop.com to sign up for their email and text distribution so you know what they have in stock, what classes are coming up, and who from the industry may be coming in to visit. The ABV Barrel Shop, it's where single barrels live. We are also sponsored by The Bar to Go. The Bar to Go offers traveling mini bars that are no bigger than a small purse or toiletry bag. Best of all, they are fully customizable so you can create the perfect piece that is unique for you. If you own your own business, what a fun and unique way to promote what you do. Check them out online at thebartogo.com. That is the number two in the bar to go. If you have wholesale questions, call my friend Isabel Clark at 504-481-1297. Finally, we are sponsored by the Neely Family Distillery. NFD is a family-owned business that keeps ringing up awards in the spirits world. Head to Sparta, Kentucky to experience the family history, award-winning spirits, and meet the Neely family. Check them out online at neelyfamilydistillery.com. Now, on to the show. Let's drink! Welcome to the Bourbon Daily, the podcast about everything bourbon delivered to you every day of the week. Today on the show, we talk about Costco's whiskey brands. My name is McNew. Please join me in welcoming my co-host, Steve Akeley, along with our special guests, Kathy Cool, Vaughn Neaters, and Jeff Andreezy. Hey, gang. What's up? Hey, Yo. Hey, everyone. Hey, oh, so yeah, we're going to be talking today about Costco. They got their Kirkland the line of whiskey, comes in liter bottles, and people lose their mind when uh, when it drops, and uh, we'll talk about that. We'll get to that after the break. For right now, though, KK said there's something she want to talk about. What is that? You know, and it's it's not about cults, because I, I know how you feel about Costco, and we could go on and on they're about cult. cults. They're a cult, yeah. I want to know, um, what is the most bizarre complaint you've encountered in your workplace mm. um, somebody shit in the bathroom floor and wiped it on the walls i was just like oh i can fix that i was the overnight manager i was like i got this i just hung a sign saying bathroom out of order then left the <laughs> note for the manager <laughs> during the day saying hey someone's gonna have to clean that bathroom like, oh. because the only was getting cleaned it was either me or my buddy mike who i grew up with i'm like i'm not making him do that and you know what well the worst they could do is fire me for this so that's what i did and i got in trouble but i didn't care i didn't i didn't do it i didn't make my buddy mike do it I, we just hung up a sign yeah that was a strange. That was a strange thing. Who would do that? Who would do something like that? What the I don't would... understand that. First of all, I wouldn't want to be involved in in any part of that. I, I wouldn't get any joy and shit on the floor. You have or to wiping it on the walls. You what have the to hell? handle the poop yeah, exactly. in order to artistically to display I, the poop. I don't want any part of. Would that. someone have a pet monkey? Yeah, did they bring the, <laughs> the monkey? Have to go. That makes more sense. No pet monkey spotted in the store that day. Mm. Hmm. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it was a sneaky monkey. It just, I, I just don't understand how or why people like. There's a bowl right there. Shit and wipe your ass. Like why? Why are we? <laughs> yeah, I don't like that either. There's a bowl. Shit in the bowl. <laughs> that doesn't sound good either. <laughs> what are they in? Like the baking aisle? <laughs> 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 hey, what do I do with this, buddy? I shit in that bowl, you said. No, so, wait, no my, me too. Uh, <laughs> but on my, the water. There my you. friend uh, had a young son uh, it, when he was, a, I don't know, he was probably like eight or nine. And we were at a bookstore. This was back when you still had bookstores. And we're hanging out at the bookstore, and he's in the kids' section or whatever. And behind me, I hear this do, 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 do. And I turn around, and he's running to the bathroom. And then about 10 minutes later, he comes up and he's like, that's a bad scene in there, man. <laughs> really? Yeah. He had, you know, he had an issue and it blew okay. and apparently oh blew. And I, we made him go tell someone like, I'm really sorry, but the bathroom is in bad shape. Oh. And he was eight. So they didn't make him go clean it, but. You did don't I, forget did I black out? Are we talking about complaints or what? Yeah. Or We're talking about, so do you ever remember, that you ever see the sign in the store that was trying to be all whimsical, you know, 
So nice to touch, so great to hold. If you shit in it, we mark it sold. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That, that old sign, uh, you know, we'd always see everywhere. No. And it's so whimsical. <laughs> so whimsical. Huh. Yeah, we're talking about complaints at work. Sorry, I yeah. sidetracked. Yeah. So, uh, yes, other complaints that you've got. So, I, at my, la my job where I actually gave a shit about, I got really apathetic at the end and I did not give a shit anymore. Where <laughs> I would, the people I trained, if they weren't good on the phones, they'd be like, oh, we got to transfer you to a manager. And I'd get their calls. And they'd be like, well, they were rude to me or they said this. And I'm like, cool. Did your claim get paid? Yeah, it's getting paid. That's her job. You're you're good. They, they they weren't nice enough. They weren't sympathetic. I don't care. <laughs> I literally would just be like, "Did you get paid? Did we pay your claim?" And they're like, "Yes." Okay, great. Have a good day. Like I just did not give a fuck there anymore. Like where we didn't we didn't baby these fucking sixty year olds and they were mad at us. And I'm like, "Did we do our job? Our job is to pay you when you turn in your bullshit. We did it. Bye." Like I don't know what else you want from me. Like, so they were complaining that they got what they wanted. Well, but they the were people weren't sympathetic like, enough for like, oh, I'm so sorry to hear that. I don't train them to say that. I train them to be like, okay, this is your issue. Okay, great, great. Got your information. Send me the bill. You're paid. That's that's what we do. They're like, well, they didn't say I'm sorry or they didn't like give their people. I don't care. And then it would get to me like they expected me to say sorry. And I'm like, cool. Your, your check is your check has been cashed by like, I don't care. <laughs> like, yeah. they, they expect me to baby them. And I'm like, I am absolutely, I don't baby babies. I'm not babying an adult. That's probably why I don't work there anymore. But it's it could be. Could be. <laughs> A little insight into that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all yeah. I don't work. <laughs> How about you, Von Neaters? Where does work complain? Uh, so we like, we get customers at our, at our shop. As you know, I do body work. Um, they'll come Hell. back. They'll Hell. come back like weeks or months later with like a scratch on their car on a panel that we repaired, and they'll be like, "Oh, this wasn't here before," or something, or something completely unrelated. And it's like, okay, well, you've had your car for this amount of time. You obviously that wasn't there when it left, and it's just stupid stuff like that that people try and get freebies. It's annoying. It's annoying. Yeah. Yeah. All right. I, I almost have to take a pass on this. Sometimes really? I work in HR now, and I get. Oh, oh good. get it all. Every now, I'll, I'll give you good. I'll give you. The complaints you get. I'll give just, you. I'll, I'll give just the generic one. Okay. Is somebody had a, a deer head mounted and hanging in their office. And okay. somebody complained about that, that uh, cruelty to animals or something oh, like geez. that. That's and cruelty. I, Man, they just, you know. So that that, that deer was that alive office? when they hung it on the wall. No, they don't have to go in that <laughs> office. So anyway, it's just uh, really just not look at it. Okay. Uh, yeah. I wish I, I I had a twenty year stint in corporate America, and I wish that the the complaints were as, as soft as that. As nice here here's here's one. Now this wasn't to me, so this wasn't a complaint to me. But uh, I a friend who uh, was involved in this. Uh, a lady shit herself and uh, was sitting on her chair and uh, she she didn't want to be sent home because she's worried she wasn't going to get paid she, hourly of course and uh, she didn't want she only had uh, 45 minutes left to go on her shift and she wanted to make sure she got paid for the full day not to be dinged what is 45 so she, minutes so she just wanted to sit in her own own uh, shit uh, in, the, in her cubicle for 45 minutes and didn't want to go so they had to get the supervisor there and then to send her home and then she's you know creating a scene because she's mad now she shit herself uh, and just sitting uh, in, in there, and then, then she gets up, and she finally agrees to go. She gets up, and there's a shit stain on the uh, on the chair. It oh, had gone through her pants that's... and everything. <laughs> that's literally. Man, I, will you double, I will pay you double time for these forty five minutes and fucking leave and take your chair with you. God, oh my god. This episode has a theme. <laughs> you gotten that in HR yet, Jeff? Oh, that's just one of them. There's a million of them like that. It's, 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 it's unbelievable the stuff that that goes down. Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah. Did you witness this? Uh yeah. Uh, I saw the oh chair. Gosh. I saw the aftermath. I wasn't. That wasn't in my department. It was, but the 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 girl who told the supervisor was a friend of mine. Not the lady who shit her pants. Uh, she was. I, I mean, would I never go back. 
I wouldn't go back either. I would just sneak out and never go back. Yeah. Back. No, and there's people like this. Like, I think like not that extreme, but like weird people like this at every company where it's a little insulting. Where it's like, I work here. How do you work here? Like, it's very right. like, why is this person here? Yeah, yeah. they did take oh my the God, chair. I have and just another story to yeah. follow up Steve's poop story. Okay, what well, you got? I was at the Fox Theater with a friend to see. I think we were seeing <clears> Chicago <throat> back in the day, and we're in this row. And next to us sit like three 20 ish year old girls and down the row is an older woman and her daughter, but they come in and they're walking in front of us and then something happens and there's this ruckus. One of the girls, the 20 year old girls has set her purse down on the floor and touched a piece of poop because the woman, older woman who was wearing a skirt pooped. <sighs> Drop a little poop, oh. walking, poop all walking, the way poop. down the aisle to her seat. She was, oh, she was pooping in, in the Fox Theater on oh. the floor. Oh. So the there's Fox a theater. there's a ruckus, and they clean it up, and then they offer people in like the three rows to move seats. And uh, when I when the intermission came, the woman stayed. She's she the one who shit and the walk. The, the she shit walk. stayed. The, the shitting woman yeah. stayed. She moved to a it different. It's a good show. It is a very good show. Watched the show. What, sure. Was she senile? Like, did she not know? No, I'm pretty sure she knew. Well, yeah. she was already done. <laughs> well, yeah. I didn't know more like, were going to come out. Yeah, she's like, uh, yeah. Why well, can't come um, out? It's all done. No, no problem. It's just like boop, 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 boop. I'm watch the show. Like a little how about, the lady, popcorn. how about the lady who set her purse down in it? Did she stay? Oh, I, those, or did it go in the girls, purse? Those girls left. They, yeah. I think they. I, I, I'd trauma. have been done. I, yeah, I'd have been. I'm done. Yeah. They had trauma. No, you you can reimburse my tickets and pay for this purse and um, pay my yeah. therapist next week because I'm oh. not. A <laughs> oh, my God, man, yeah. that's terrible. Terrible. Yeah. Terrible stuff. Oh, there you go. Well, on that note, guess what, gang? It's time to drink. What is everyone drinking? Let's start this time with me. Boo Rye. Boo Rye. Look at this. That, uh, that oh, yeah. guy there, Jeff, he's dead. He's dead. He's ta it's taxidermy. He's, he's done. That's he's taxidermy. Done. I, I'm going to file a complaint. <laughs> 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 uh, here we go. Swine on the set. That was terrible. Legit terrible. Um, Next up is, we'll let Jeff go. All right. I have some uh, Neely, um, not from the barrel shop, but this is the, the mm -hmm. two I's and two Z's version. Oh. Oh, squeaky. Okay. Ooh, not good. That was squeaky. But that's Whiskey's a little better. It was, it was better than mine. So, McNew's next, though. Bakers? Okay. Nothing. Uh, Jeff, but they had the squeak. Yeah, I'm going to ding them on the squeak. I think I think McNew's got it because she's hers was clean at least. McNew's got the cleaner. lead. Uh, McNew's got the lead. What do you got there, KK? I'm not expecting much these glass corks, but it's from Dark Arts. Yeah, that's enough. That's that was solid. Not bad. Not bad. All right, Von Neters, your last but not least, KK has the lead. What do you got? I also have a Baker's. Oh, oh, there it is. There it is. Oh. There it is. Boom. There it is. A yeah. Better baker. Yeah. Better bakers. Cheers, Cheers to my leaders. Cheers, everyone. Cheers. All right. We're going to take a quick break. And then when we come back, we're going to be talking about Costco whiskey and their private brand Kirkland. We'll do that in just a few. Okay, let's talk about the people that make these shows happen. First up is the Stave and Thief Society. Via their in-person class at Moonshine University in Louisville, Kentucky, the Stave and Thief Society is the place where you, a bourbon enthusiast, can expand your knowledge and emerge an executive bourbon steward. In 2017, I completed my executive bourbon steward certification. It's the most comprehensive bourbon certification available and connects you with an expansive network of bourbon enthusiasts and professionals. 
Check out the full listing of in-person and online certifications and join the society today by enrolling at staventhief.com. Speaking of Executive Bourbon Steward Certification, the ABV Barrel Shop in St. Louis, Missouri has developed a unique partnership with the Stave and Thief Society to offer a preparatory class to assist you in getting your Executive Bourbon Steward Certification. This prep class costs only $25 and is available to take live or online via Zoom. Graduates of our class receive a coupon code good for 15% off your Executive Bourbon Steward Certification held in Louisville, Kentucky. This saves you almost $90. Additionally, you can collaborate with fellow attendees to split travel costs when you go to Louisville. If you're interested in signing up for the class, simply head over to abvbarrelshop.com and check out the classes and events page. Last but not least, we are sponsored by Neely Family Distillery. Royce Neely is the 11th generation distiller and one of America's oldest distilling families. A visit to Neely Family Distillery takes you through family history, where you can see all the artifacts and newspaper clippings through the years from this family that started distilling in America after James Neely arrived from Northern Ireland in 1740. Today, Royce Neely and his team are crafting some of the best spirits in America. Their bourbon and absinthe offerings keep winning top honors in the spirits competitions. Recently, their absinthe made history as the first platinum winner in the absinthe category at the San Francisco Spirits Competition. Neely Family Distillery is definitely a bucket list destination if you are a bourbon fan. Learn more about their spirit offerings, visiting their facility, and the awards they have collected over at NeelyFamilyDistillery.com. And now, back to the show. All right, on that note, guess what, gang? It's time to drink. What is everyone drinking? Let's start with our in-house billionaire here, Ryan Thompson. Ryan, what do you got there, man? Oh, boy. Well, you know, might as well come out of the gate with a little Leopold's Dickel 3 Chamber. Oh, nice. Whoa. Lovely, nice. lovely one tonight here. Sunday evening, might as well. Okay, okay. Audible. By the way, Brian, that was your best cork pop ever. As, as Thank a, you. I appreciate I, that. I usually don't hear anything from you. That was, that was decent. Yeah. We need to rest. quite silent. amazing. Like, yeah, Thanks we'll see what God. happens. That could that could that could win this thing. Ryan has the lead. Wow, that is, that's wow. something. That is, yeah, something. This is something. Yeah. All right, Tim, you're next. All right, I'm going to go with a boxing bear as well. This is boxing bear. So it's uh, the reading chair. So it's oh, that's like number two. Yeah, I think that's number two. Yeah, because it's, it's number two. Universe. Yeah. Channeling the legend as well on here with okay. my uh, FAMLS uh, uh, wristband. Swipe on the set. Wow. Did, Tim, did you go yet? Is that yeah. what you're to? Listen to Ryan. Right? <laughs> he fucking drank. He oh, yeah. his first ever audible yes. pork pot. <laughs> there was nothing on my side as well. So, Ryan, yes. <laughs> right. <laughs> so, what was better, Ryan's cork pop or his trash talk on his first ever audible cork pop? This is Steve Akeley, and you're listening to The Bourbon Daily on the ABV Network. Welcome back to The Bourbon Daily. Today, we're talking Costco whiskey. Yes, we are. So, I mean, it's not uncommon for Costco to get a shipment of their Kirkland whiskey in and it uh, blows up on Facebook. People start going crazy. And of course, it's not, you know, a, they got in a case or they got in three bottles behind the, the you know, the, the wall there at the, at the service center. No, it's uh, it's pallets, you know, and they have pallets of it. So it's, it shows you how extremely rare this is. And, uh, and then people just lose their mind. And then people come in and they'll come into our store and be like, I'm just looking today. I just bought a bunch of that Costco whiskey. I'm like, what? I mean, it's a decent whiskey for a decent price, but I don't know. I'm 56 years old. I I don't think I, I, I got enough time left to where I want to be wasting my time drinking Kirkland whiskey. Uh, it's okay. It's Barton, and I get it. it that's, a, that's a solid whiskey, but it's also not the best Barton that's out there. There's older stuff that they have that's better and things like that. It's, it's Midland Barton, and it's just okay. I, I, it's nothing to lose your mind over, and I don't understand people buying it by the case and stuff like that. I, I, what's, what am I missing here, folks? You guys tell me. Maybe you're doing this, so you tell me. Not like anything. As the kids today say, it's mid. It's mid. It's good whiskey, but it's nothing to get excited about. Right. Like, is it priced really low? It, yeah, it's a, it's, it, price. It's, it's a good yeah. value price for sure. But, you know, $30 for a liter, that's a great price. But 
<laughs> but, but this is one that like I think of like you know like yellow label four roses or Evan Williams white label like right. I'm just gonna make cocktails with it I'm not really right. just gonna drink it it's yeah. not it's fine if, if also you got a connection that said hey that Evan Williams white label that's selling for $18 I can get that to you for $10 all day long are you just going to drink that because it's just so incredible? No, it's it's no. like okay, that's fine. I'll, I'll no. grab a bottle when I have a party. I'll throw it out there for a mixer. I, I it's but they're like, well, no, it's unlimited though. You can get as much of that as you want. Uh, you know, yeah, my my limbs have a bottle. I'll take a bottle of the ten dollar Evan Williams. It's it's again not bad. It's just not enough. It's, I feel the same with the Costco. I'm not going to lose my mind over that stuff. No, like, and people, people do like the way that they lose their minds. I'm like. And Costco has actually a great liquor selection. I'm like, there's really so many better things right, right. to it. Why are we freaking out about this? Yeah. Yeah. yeah they, they kind of get everything. So, yeah, there's they got about anything there, apparently. I've yeah. I mean, I think I've only had it once or twice, and it's pretty unoffensive. So, it probably appeals pretty broadly. But again, I'm not looking for unoffensive. I'm looking for unique. I'm looking right. for. Yeah. Yeah, it's really one like where like the liter bottles. Like if I were going to have a party where I wanted to make a punch, sure, I'll pour that into a punch because I don't fucking care about it. <laughs> right. <a> lot. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I get it for that. There's a there's a need for it. Again, I'm not saying it's bad whiskey. I'm not saying uh, it's not a good deal. It is a good deal, but uh, again, I don't I don't understand the craze for it. I'm, so did they what... go after it like allocated? Oh yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, the, the, you'll see that uh, someone will post, you know, a huge palette uh, as, as tall as me uh, of, of whiskey. And then, uh, and then you know, it'll be uh, two hours later, it'll be like uh, three cases left. Like they're selling through a whole thing of that in yeah. hours. A weird thing. Right. Is it because on your way out, you get a really inexpensive hot dog? I think so. <laughs> I think it's the hot dog that gets them. Maybe if we Make start serving uh, hot dogs at the barrel shop, we could start selling whiskey like that. People just come in and lose their mind. Oh, maybe. Uh, or a Hawaiian I mean, food truck. Yeah, we got that coming back again. <laughs> I don't know. Back in November. People treat Costco like Disney World, where it's like a novelty. Where it's like, went to Costco today and I bought all the Costco things. Like, uh, I don't, you don't understand. Have, you don't need twenty Mickey ears. Like, they're they're the same people, and they don't make sense to me. Like, right. well, it's a cult. That's how they get you. I get you. They okay. convince you something that's not that great is just a, the most incredible thing ever. That's a cult. Yeah. yeah. It's my, basically just a shopping store. That's all it is. It's nothing it fancy. Actually, my tiny, it kind of sucks as a store. My tiny mother who barely eats anything will send me to Costco on occasion. And everything is it's so huge. Right. Yeah. Yeah, you need to just, if you don't see the irony of going to a place like that, just watch the Seinfeld episode where Kramer right. joins the Price Club. And uh, it's all just making fun of those type of places. And it's great. Beef I mean, beefaroni. Yeah, beefaroni and uh, the, the tuna that would feed the biosphere and all that kind of stuff. It was <laughs> freaking hilarious. So, yeah. 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 So, there you go. There's Costco whiskey. Don't lose your mind, folks. If you like it, grab a bottle, maybe. And you're probably good for a year, I would think. I, I, if I bought that bottle, I was like, if someone's like, hey, I'm going to go to Costco. I, I bought your bottle. I know you like, you know, Barton. And uh, I'd be like, great, thank you. Uh, I'd have that bottle for a year. I'd never, it, I'd never come home and be like, you know what I feel like tonight? All these the bottles I got here, I'm going to, you know, I feel like that Kirkland. No, that would never happen. So no, I, I do feel like this is one you could put in a decanter and be mm -hmm. like, this is my decanter bourbon. And that's fine. Like, I'm just going to pour that when I'm bored. But right. it's not something I get excited about. Yeah. So there you go. There's uh, there's Costco. Uh, there you go. And they're, they're Kirkland brand. So there you go. All right. We'll wrap this one up as we always do by talking about where people can find us. Von Neaters, we'll start with you. Where can people find you? You can find me on Instagram at Von Neaters. All right. Jeff. Yeah. Look for me on Instagram, Facebook, and the Cigar Dojo. Jeff and Dreezy, two I's and two Z's. KK. You find me on Instagram at KK Cast Strength. McNew. I'm on Instagram at McNew ABV. 
All right, for me, I'm an easy guy to find. I'm at Steve Akeley, Twitter, Instagram, or Facebook. I've got a website, steveakeley.com. We've also got a company website. That thing's going to be abvnetwork.com. Check it out. Everything that we do is out there. Previous shows, blogs, so much more, abvnetwork.com. Come by and see me, the ABV Barrel Shop, the place where you can try before you buy. Check us out online, abvbarrelshop.com. McNew, anything else to say before we get out of here? I'd like to remind the audience to please give us a five-star review. That includes comments. It helps new people find the show, which is very important to us. And if you like what we're doing, we ask that you please visit our Patreon page at patreon.com slash the ABV network. Great job today, gang. Finance. We'll have a brand new show for you tomorrow. Looking forward to that. Until then, take care, everybody. See ya. Bye. 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 Peace. Before we let you go, let's talk about one last thing. The ABV Barrel Shop in the St. Louis community of Arnold, Missouri. The ABV Barrel Shop is focused on a couple of things. First of all, single barrels. We are the place where single barrels live. We go to distilleries, taste through the whiskey, select the best barrel, and have it shipped to our store where we present it to you, our customers, by allowing you to try before you buy. We're also known for the classes that we have in our education center in the store, as well as the events we have with industry professionals from the bourbon business. If you're in the St. Louis area, please come by and visit us at 6 Fox Valley Center in Arnold, Missouri. Or at a minimum, at least sign up for our email and text distribution so you know exactly what's going on in our shop over at abvbarrelshop.com. This is Steve Akeley, owner of the ABV Network, signing off. We thank you for listening to our programming and truly appreciate your support. The Bourbon Daily is part of the ABV Network. For more information or to become a sponsor, please visit abvnetwork.com. Thanks for listening and cheers. This has been a Steve Akeley production.